All right, I think the timing for this video could not be more perfect because in this video I will show you how I would build a $100,000 portfolio and the market is quite ripping right now. It's giving us some confirmation, but it is definitely not too late as all season has not started so we can ride those waves. So I'm gonna show you how I would allocate 100K if I would build a crypto portfolio today. If you're excited for that, you know, you know what to do, man, please. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on. It was totally off sync again. I think that's super punch sound, but hey, I'm still practicing, man. Please, practice makes perfect. Very quick, Bitcoin, $75,000, made new all-time highs yesterday. Again, if we go to the Bitcoin chart right here, you can see that it's uh, quite ripping towards new all-time highs on the daily. You see, yesterday it made an all-time high of $76,375 which is very good to see, of course. And now what's really important to me is that Bitcoin maintains these levels, right? Because what we always see in the market so far is Bitcoin first needs to rip through all-time highs and then altcoins go. But with ripping through all-time highs, I don't mean this kind of pathetic all-time high over here that lasted for two days and then went back down. I mean, really a blast through it. And now we are above it. Let's see if Bitcoin can actually hold this level um and anything above 72 look that looks pretty good to me retraces happen it's never up only right but if you look where we you know we had so much resistance at this whole point right here so if we retest that level and bounce off of there totally fine um that's in fact a great opportunity to stack up on most of these altcoins because very time sensitive but what we have now seen is actually a very you know it's not that spectacular or anything, but we have seen the Bitcoin dominance coming down a little bit, right? While Bitcoin was also down a little bit, but that made the altcoin market effect go up, right? Let alone if the dominance really goes down and Bitcoin goes up. That's how the last two alt seasons uh, were. So yeah, the altcoin market is responding quite uh, well. Um, Ethereum on its Bitcoin pair is having a good bounce right here, which is super important because it's the leading altcoin basically. And if we look at the altcoin dominance, look, um, I had to refit this trend line a little bit and I think it's so much better right now, right? This parallel channel that we are in. And if you look, if you zoom in where we are right now, how we perfectly bounce from the support right here, um, it's crazy and alt season is going to be fucking nuts. Okay. So if you are, uh, the person that is in crypto with a little more than a hundred or a thousand dollars, right. And you feel like I have a hundred K or hypothetically, right. What, whatever is a big amount, at least for you, how should you, or should you, how would I, let me put it like that, create a crypto portfolio. It depends a little bit um how much risk you are willing to take of course right but i'm gonna write it down uh, right here but it depends a little bit on how much risk you are willing to take if you for some reason feel like ah 100k <laughs> i can miss that yeah then you can put it all in meme coins of course right then you have a good chance of becoming either fucking rich or like losing it all and probably the last thing is what's gonna happen um if you feel like, well, you know, I rather don't lose that 100k, of course, but I'm willing to take some risk, then this is a perfect video for you. What I would do, and it depends on the stage of the market, actually, right? If you would have asked me this two years ago, well, you didn't ask, I'd just do shit and I hope you like it. Um, but if you, uh, if I would have made this two years ago, yeah, I would have said Bitcoin, right? It's Bitcoin season all the time. We are far from the post having year. Bitcoin is going to outperform these altcoins. So 80, 90% Bitcoin would do the trick. But we are not in that stage of the market anymore. We are now in the stage of the market where Bitcoin might wreck a couple of altcoins still from here. But overall, next year should be the alt season year. It should be the year that altcoins outperform. So we'll be a little like... Yeah, you have so much time to be in Bitcoin, right? Um, not really worth it anymore, if you ask me. So, I would skip Bitcoin completely uh, from this portfolio, right? Like, the max you can get out of Bitcoin in this run is maybe like a 
Well, if everything is really bullish, then a, then a 5x, but that's at max, right? So is that what you want to do, right? A 2x seems to be the bar for a lot of people already for Bitcoin from this point. 5x would be mega bullish. Well, would actually, come, yeah, would not be weird, but that would be super bullish. Yeah, that, that's not really uh, needed. I would put Ethereum in. And that's already where people are going to disagree, probably, because uh, we are now at that stage of the market where every altcoin that is not doing well, people think that it's dead, right? But that's, in fact, the buying opportunity. Very simple. Ethereum isn't dead. Um, that's bullshit. And is there better technology? Yeah, of course. But, like, in this last cycle, there was also better technology. On paper, Cardano is also a great chain, right? Except for the fact that nobody fucking uses it right but ethereum isn't that it has the first mover advantage it's where the big money is ethereum of course will go up again now if you look how ethereum does against bitcoin it has a long way to go up and i think ethereum in the next year is gonna outperform bitcoin so um ethereum is now twenty eight hundred dollars I think that Ethereum is slightly more likely to do a 5x than Bitcoin at this point. And it's, of the rest of every altcoin, it's the lowest risk asset in crypto. So I would say Ethereum goes in my portfolio um, with a decent part. I would say 20% of the portfolio. So that's uh, twenty thousand dollars. That would be holding number one. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Here we go. Because if you, if 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 the goal is five x for Ethereum, you make a hundred k. So you basically would with just one asset with twenty percent uh, of risking your money, you can completely get another size of that portfolio um so yeah <laughs> it's pretty clear to me actually now listen with a 100k portfolio you do not want to go in all these low 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 caps only right um one there's a big liquidity problem and again two with low caps even in a bull market there's a good chance that you lose that money so what you want to do is if you have a hundred thousand dollars and you walk away that cycle with oh, man between 500 and a million that's good right it's easier to make a 50x if you start with a hundred dollars than if you start with a hundred thousand dollars because there's more risk that you can take right so i would definitely add some higher caps uh, to this whole portfolio that are just simply too obvious and one of those is Cardano. Just kidding, of course. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> Avalanche. Avalanche. Um, I don't need to explain, I think, why Avalanche is a great project. But Avalanche, it has off the grid. Off the grid itself is all, already freaking fantastic, uh, let alone the rest of what's coming. I mean, off the grid had just as ma ma many transactions as the whole base chain, right? Like, that's crazy. Um, and Avalanche now number 16. It has some catching up to do again, but I, I I do think that AVEX could be will be back in the top ten. I mean, let let Lido State Ether get out of there. Let XRP finally get the fuck out of that top ten. What it's even doing there, man? Um, USDC as well. Whenever that's going to get deployed into the market, I think BNB belongs there just fine together with Solana, etc. But uh, you know, there's room. So I would put Avalanche there. Definitely. And I would say if you have $100,000, I would not go with more than fucking 10 coins at max, right? Um, and in AVAX, I would say, put maybe, I would say put 25% in Ethereum. And this is all freestyle, right? So, of course, it's not uh, that I all wrote this down beforehand. It's just like thinking out loud. And with AVAX, I would say 15%, right? $15,000.
this is 40% of the portfolio and $40,000, which could do a uh, five to seven X on average, maybe. That's very good. I would say these are two high caps. The rest, you know, there are a lot of good coins in here. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people like ICP. A lot of people like Caspa. Um, that's great. It's not what I would put in. I would say you should check out a little more mid caps from this point. Why do I say that? Because you already have 40%, which is relative safe, right? That's 40K. I think in a bull market, which is now coming, therefore you also have to look at when are you doing this, right? It's so much more certain right now. You can take more risk without taking more risk, if you know what I mean. So I would say right now, you know, people say Bitcoin, Ethereum, and, 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 and I don't know, all these high caps together. That's great, but I think two high caps are really enough uh, in this case. So let me actually check from my own portfolio because I have some safer coins in my portfolio as well. And yeah, I would definitely um, put in some CDFI. Um, and I will divide it into two sections. The S-Fund token for their launch pad and the Seed World token. That's for their... In the metaverse, basically, right? I, I spoke about that project earlier, and one, it's a freaking fantastic project. Um, look, their market cap fully diluted, right? People, they sometimes only look at fully diluted and they be like, oh, it's so high. Okay, look at this. Fully diluted is $140 million. Look, if there is any project that you can compare this with, it might be Sandbox, right? Well, let me tell you this. Sandbox is not as great as SeedWorld when it comes to being a project. Also, all-time high fully diluted for Sandbox was high. <laughs> really freaking high. Um, uh, let me show you. I think it was close to 20 billion or something. 25 billion. 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 That's a lot, man. It's a freaking lot. Yeah, and if you then look at Seed World, 140 million, then you feel like, okay, might be high, but we've seen that there are worse projects going way higher. I know my math sucks at, at this moment, uh, but 10x is 1.4 billion. All right, so let's say uh, 100x is 14. It's 140. 40x to go or something like that, right? To get where a worse project was in a bull market where was less money in that market. Mm, it's not high, this. So, um, yeah, Seed World <laughs> and S Fund. S Fund is the leading launchpad. And like I, um, I tweeted this, and, and I think this is super important actually. If you if you want to understand a little bit what just uh, what is just going on, Trump is president. He will fight Gensler, as he said. A new SEC chairman could making invest could make investing in ICOs possible again for U.S. citizens. So do not fade launch pads this cycle. I said this for a long time already, um, and this is just an extra narrative for me to basically say that. Lunch pads, please. I see so many people fading lunch pads, um, but that's at the bottom, of course. Like when everything is red, everybody is fighting, everybody is scared. Of course, that's human behavior. But if you just look at what's logical, and if you look at the numbers, and you look at what's actually being used, then lunch pads are like some people say meme coins are the big lunch pads are the biggest no brainer for me by far, right? Because people actually use that shit, right? And we see it on the charts as well. Like last run-up, Launchpads outperformed the market. So C to five, for sure, right? Um, and in that case, I would say I would put definitely 10% in uh, C to five. Me personally, I'll do it a little different. C to five is my biggest holding, but I like a little more risk and I have more conviction. But if I would say like, okay, this is a portfolio that I've, 
would feel somewhat responsible to share to the public, <laughs> then I wouldn't put a low cap really like fucking all in, right? Although, CDFI, great. Um, but I would put 10K into uh, S Fund. And I would put 7.5%, so $7,500. Um, wrong button in Seed World, and that's just because Seed World is uh, it's 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 somewhat riskier. It's newer. It's lower risk, uh, or it's higher risk when it comes to that, but more upside as well. I will fill in here as well how many X's I think they can all do. Uh, with it realistic case okay not bear case not my bull case which i see a lot of bull cases happening by the way just that i feel like okay this is what we can actually expect um with ethereum from this point this point realistically 4x avex from uh this point if i would use my brain 10 billion dollar market cap Solana is 88 right now. Mm. Solana goes higher than... <laughs> Sorry, but... Um, I could actually pretty easily see this do a 10x. But yeah. <laughs> That's like a little closer to the bull case. 8x. See the uh, seed five. Although I love Cedify, um, especially at this market cap, I do think that there are a lot of lunch bets out there and the competition just makes it a little harder for Cedify. Um, but eventually people will go with the winner. I would say Cedify 10x as possible. Seed World, uh, look, the again 150x would put it where sand was well sand of course had to hype the timing the adoption it had the first mover advantage it had no comp competitor so we should also look at that of course um so let's not aim for that then again seed world is also um you must not forget that they are very good at token sync so you can stake your token, you can lock them, you can get lands off of them. You, you, they really want you to make, <laughs> to stake the token, and a lot is locked, actually. And uh, the fully diluted valuation will never really hit the market. So, ah. <laughs> I would say um, it's now, I think, more close to a $15 million market cap. Uh, let me just check it instead of just talking shit. It's sitting at a, yeah, that's not correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, 15. Okay, cool. So I would say a 10 is 150. Oh, Realistically, 20x is doable. Definitely. Yeah. Would do, yeah. Um, so then... We have 40, 50. Okay, so we have some money to go. Now, what I would do is, again, I would not look at too much high cap coins. Although, you also sometimes want to go with some winners. And one winner is definitely super first. I know there are some people, for some reason, they say that crypto gaming is dead. Well, doesn't really look dead to me, uh, if you ask me, but <laughs> maybe they mean they, they are brain dead. Crypto gaming will be a winner. Apart from that, as a coin, this has been an outperformer, right? You can say whatever you want. Here people say, oh, the coin sucks, it's low, and now it's high. They say it's all manipulation, and it's because of Elliot Trades. Is, uh, shut up. It's, you can't win with these people, right? This is just a fucking strong coin. Um, and if it does this, in a non-alt season, hey, I can see Superverse definitely hit 10 bill. Yeah. So I would say 15x for Super. Um, 
is doable. So 15. And I would put mm, 12 and a half percent uh, in super. Yeah. Then we have 20K, 30, plus 40, 70K. That's pretty cool. Now, I would fuck around with some low caps as well, of course. Um, but I don't think it's smart to, with a 100K portfolio, to, to, to put your eggs in one basket when it comes to lunch pads. Uh, because, again, lunch pads are going to be the big winner. And one lunch pad that I would say is very uh, promising is paid network i talked about this a little bit more lately purely price wise uh, in first instance because yeah it, it, it was pretty clear to me i was saying this in a private discord as well check it out below if you haven't um it had a run-up and it got stuck at like four or five cents right and then when it broke out of this range it went to like 35 36 7 cents no problem Right when the rest of the market did a four or five x on general, this thing flew. Um, it was pretty easy, and now it's back at these levels. And I said right here, like guys, I'm stacking up, and it looks like it's breaking out a little bit right now. Um, but it's nowhere close to this. Let alone if we get an alt season, this thing can go to a dollar, if you ask me, uh, because three times as high than a period where we had no alt season doesn't sound unrealistic, actually. Um, but it, it depends on market cap, of course. I don't know about token market cap right here. We're sitting at 100 million, 300 million doable. Uh, it's now 30. Let's say 10x for paid uh, is something that I think we should and can expect. So paid, um, 10xing right here. And look, this is not. I can also give a portfolio with coins that I think are 50x or zero. Um, but the problem is with these things, it's usually zero. Look at Superman's videos, right? Like it's fucking nonsense. <laughs> but I, I I must say that you know if you have a hundred k portfolio, this is actually you know not too high risk, but you are in for some rights. Um, and yeah, with a hundred k portfolio, if you pull off these kind of numbers, dude, you should be fucking happy. Let's be real. Anyway, in, in paid, I would put, um, we are at 70, right? I would say 5% in paid is a decent amount at this level, given how low cap it is. I think uh, getting 50K out of that project with $5,000, uh, yeah, why not? Um, Look, I, I want to say, like, you can go with Solana. Um, but then I would go with either Solana or Ethereum. Right? Because Solana at this price is not going to 20x for you. I think Solana and Ethereum will have around the same returns. Um, but yeah, if you if you look at the Sol E valuation, yeah, it is a fact. I mean, uh, this is quite beautiful, actually. Look, Solana was like, it got rejected here on its ETH pair in 2021. We got here now again and we kind of just broke it and tested it as support. And now Solana is like, I never ever said something could be an ETH killer because that's what people always said and it was never true. But, but, I must say, Solana has a, Freaking long way to go, but it could have a chance to outperform Eve in this cycle to have a higher market cap. It could, but I'm saying that very cautiously. I know a lot of people they might be like, "Yeah, that will happen." Well, bro, it, 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 look at the insane run that Solana already had, right? And it still has like four x market cap to go, right? Like, and that's in the billion, multi billions, tens of billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars, actually. Yeah, that's not coming from nowhere, right? So it's not that easy anymore. Um, but yeah, we'll see. 
So you you could say like, okay, make this either Ethereum or Solana. They 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 they. I would still put as much as in both, and they could both do forex from this point, give or take. I think so. Um, yeah, now it's getting fucking tricky <laughs> because you want to take some good risk as well. Um, and I would say if you want to have an exposure-ish kind of thing like AVAX but with a little more upside because AVAX is also one of a kind right here right you, yeah of course you have another chain here but when it comes to real gaming chain um i would say you could add beam in as well beam it's kind of like it's not kind of but it, let me put it like this just see beam as avax but higher risk reward um and i think you will be fine then so yeah actually with beam i would put in 10 percent by the way uh, so that's ten thousand dollars i think you will do uh, very fantastic and i think that beam with the position that where it is right now right i said avax could do an 8x at this point yeah look if if, if beam does a 10x then it would be where avax is right now um i can see beam go a little higher than that and also if you look at this it was already at a 2.2 billion dollar market cap pretty easily without alt season 10 at least doable um but i i actually think that beam could be that 15x project uh, in this bull market hey and uh, by the way this is all if we get a fed alt season i don't see why we won't get it but hey let me be very clear if that for some reason won't be in alt season or whatever yeah then this is off the table right of course um then 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 i would say Look, there's a lot of gaming right here. Some AI would be nice. The question is what, <laughs> right? With a 100K portfolio, you don't want to get into these weird low-cap AI products that claim to have a product in the first place, but they don't. Um, I would go with ChainGPT. You either have, you still, that's AI, but you also, again, have exposure to a lunch pad. And again, like, that's too easy, lunch pads. It's too obvious. Um, Change GPT, really, they have the hype. They did everything right from the start. They have the community. They did everything was on point. Like, and we were not in an altcoin bull market yet. So, real, not in a real bull market, at least. So, yeah, if they did a 10x at this point already, um, this price, man. Yeah, I think it could pull something off that Cedified it, actually, to a billion dollar market cap or so. Maybe even higher. But I would say, chain GPT in a good bull market, 10x from here. Right? So... I would put another seven and a half percent into um, Chain GPT, so seventy five hundred dollars right here. Um, there's a lot of gaming in this in this portfolio, as you may see, but yeah, it's just what I think the winning niches are gonna be. Can they help it? If you want something else in gaming, I do think that um, we can add another one, and that's Trader Joe. Trader Joe is like if you if you believe in AVAX, which you should, <laughs> by the way, but then you might still find that AVAX is already quite high cap, and you cannot get a big fat return out of that. Then what is the use case of every chain? A DEX, right? People they use DEXs. Let Joe be the native token for that DEX. 
Um, and if you if you look how hard it went in the last bull market, it went all the way to a five hundred million dollar market cap. Yeah, back here, AVEX and it was nothing really more than speculation. Now it has fucking product, man. Um, and it's sitting five times as low. So this is actually an obvious play, if you ask me. So Trader Joe, if 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 AVEX does a what is it, 8x? And Trader Joe does double. I would say Trader Joe could do a 15x uh, at that point. And I would put uh, 5k into Trader Joe, actually. So we have 40, 50, uh, 70, 75, 85, 90. Oh, shit, we have $2,500 to go. So let's let's put in a... And then we have 10 coins, by the way. Let me put in some freaking DJ and shit right here. <laughs> um, and again, there's no right or wrong, right? Like, there might be people say, well, I know meme coins. Well, that's not what I would do with this amount of money. But maybe if you want to, you can. Um, but then I would say... Go with the brats, the marks, right? Uh, nothing too weird and low cap because you probably lose it. Um, yeah, too many good projects out there, bro. Can't choose. I cannot choose. <laughs> um, yeah. If there is a project that I think is massively undervalued compared to what they deliver, then it would be Wild World. Um, yeah then again 77 look I mean it, it, it. I can pick anything right now um, but yeah it's hard man I would say feel free to put in whatever you want <laughs> it's a nonsense answer but also if I look at my portfolio right here I feel like dude there are so many great low-cap coins that could have such big returns. Um, but Wild World has just a fantastic ratio between quality and price. Like, it's so fucking good. Um, and you don't want to, again, with a 100K portfolio, take too much risk, right? There are many $5 million market cap coins that I would say, you know, go, go at it. Um, but with Wild World, I feel like you're still a little on the safe side, even though it's a single metaverse slash game. Um, I will put $2,500 in that, and I honestly think that this shit 20x, um, if they all seem to deliver. So, 100k portfolio, I, I would divide it like this, actually. And overall, yeah. Now, well, from what I see... If you pull off a 10x on this portfolio, that's really decent. That's really decent. Plus, I know you know, but I'm telling anyway, you should shuffle, right? You should shuffle. At a certain point, if you if 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 you are big in Ethereum or Solana, right? Look how your altcoins perform against Ethereum or Solana, right? Like AVAX on its uh, Solana pair, right? Hey, once this thing bottoms out. Convert your Solana to AVEX, right? Shuffle a little bit. Shuffle a little bit. Um, but I want to leave it here, guys. I think this should be a killer portfolio for this amount. So if you like it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on. Let me know what would you put in that portfolio. I'm very curious. Like, I know not everybody has 100k laying around. What? Hey, use your imagination, right? So thanks for watching. Please give it a like. Um, and I am fucking tired, so I'm just gonna quit tomorrow for today. Thanks, guys. See you soon.